I heard Lay admit that he had, you know, he was wild yes. with the drinking. Yep. Everybody knows that. that. Yep. When he would go on his little binges, business still has to get done. You can't disappear for like two or three weeks. I understand you a celebrity superstar. That's what that's what they do, but we also have a business as well. We need to fire everybody we got at Mo Thug because we had our entire family with them. They had their family, I had my family. I said, we need to fire everybody. They don't know what they doing. We don't know what we doing. So we had Leon uh, mm -hmm. here just a few weeks ago. So respectfully, I want to ask you because he said it. So mm -hmm. I just want to get your take on it, right? Mm -hmm. So <clears throat> Lay said that y'all did Mo Thug or whatever. Um, he felt like maybe he was pushed out of Mo Thug a little bit around that. And, and I'm I'm paraphrasing. Mm -hmm. um, he was kind of pushed out that second Mo Thug in terms of the business and with the decisions being made. So he said he fell back and kind of let you do it, right? Mm -hmm. But he said that the rumor or hearsay is that you basically went to Relativity and told them this Mo Thug shit is done. You know what I mean? Lay is fucking up. He's not handling business. And this shit is over with. And they were like, no, Cray, it's still got legs. Here, you do it. You take the budget and go run with the ball. The myth, the legend is, the, the rumor is, whatever it is, is that he went up there and told them people that I was a drunk, Mo Thug was dead, and it should be buried. Mm. You know what I'm saying? And mm. he wanted to do it. So they was like, boom, well, we got it. This brand is alive. So they gave it to him. Mm. And that's when, that's when you see him basically push out front. And I just fell back. No. That is, that's definitely not what happened. So, I mean, true. <clears throat> okay, so so me and Lay was the ones running more Thug Records. The deal that we had, since nobody else was a part, the deal that we had, I couldn't sign nothing, no checks, no contracts or nothing, unless Lay signature was there too. Mm. He couldn't sign nothing, no checks, contracts or nothing, unless my signature was there. Now, I heard Lay admit that he had, you know, he mm -hmm. was wild yeah. with the drinking. Yep. Everybody knows that. that. Yep. When he would go on his little binges, Business still has to get done. Mm -hmm. You can't disappear for like two or three weeks. I understand you a celebrity superstar. That's what that's what they do. But we also have a business as well. So who's going to take care of it? And what you never hear, who the artist going to look to when they need stuff. When studio bills and stuff need to get paid, who was there to write the check? So yeah, in order for business to get done, we had to start making moves going over his head because the label is like, where's the music? What's going on? How come we ain't got this? Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? And they giving us money. So I'm like, yo, we got to keep moving this ship along. We got to, we gonna, we gonna, we gonna keep this moving. We ain't got, you know what I'm saying? I'm not, I'm not out partying and doing that. So mm -hmm. that's what all that was, you know what I'm saying? And I don't know if he remember that, you know what I'm saying? But it was never, he always had access to the budget, even when he was on his binges. Mm. He never, he, 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 he never even, he never took money out of there. Oh, damn. Never. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Because, I mean, the money was for, we, we, we used all that money for mm. Mo Thug. Yeah. I mean, he wrote certain artist checks, you know what I'm saying? Right. When they, you know what I'm right. saying? When they wanted money, we gave them money, you know what I'm saying? Mm. But like, he really took money out of there, you know what I'm saying? Like, and he had access to it. Oh wow! But he was off doing his own thing. He had his own money. You know what I'm saying? Gotcha. Like he was doing his own thing. Gotcha. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, but Motel still had to be ran. And like mm -hmm. I said, with all the artists there, so so when you come around and like people are not moving as as fast as you think they should because they're not used to you. You know what I'm saying? Okay, but Craig just told us this, and you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. And now it's a conflict now. Yeah. <clears throat> you know what I'm saying? Because mm -hmm. it's like now he feeling like. He not getting the, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. The respect that he deserve because it's his label too, you know what I'm saying? But I'm like, bro, it's like, you got to come on. Like, mm -hmm. we got business we got to do. Like, mm -hmm. this, 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 this is what's going on. Do you mm -hmm. think that maybe he feels that way because of a lack of communication 
or because because per lazy and I'll just say just even talking to flesh and be everybody always says that Cray is quiet. He don't you know what I'm saying? A yeah. lot of times they don't know. They like I don't know. Cray Man, won't say shit. It does be it it it, it do be a lack of uh, communication, but you know what I'm saying. I don't feel like it was back then because before I even made that move to remove myself, to step away from Mo Thug, we was all on Remington, the street on on Wishbone's grandmama street. Mm -hmm. And I told it, I was talking to all of them and I told them, I said, bro, we need to fire everybody we got at Mo Thug because we had our entire family with them. They had their family, I had my family. I said, we need to fire everybody. They don't know what they doing. We don't know what we doing. <laughs> we need to hire people yeah. that know more than we know that, that know how to run a label. That's right. We, we bro, we had people at the office, like people calling, you know, calling the office, people picking the phone, talking about, what's up, who you looking for? I'm like, oh, no, 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 no man. Wow. We can't do it like that. Right, right. You know right. what I'm saying? Like, so I started searching for like people, like real business people, mm -hmm. got a real like receptionist and like, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying? Like bringing people in mm -hmm. that like to make it like start looking and sounding like a real label. That's like, right. Because people giving us money. They're giving mm -hmm. us a lot of money mm -hmm. monthly. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like more than, more than we actually spending, honestly. Damn. Okay. Like for real. You know what I'm saying? Wow. Like, so it's like, so it's like, like the business had to keep going. And I'm yeah. like, bro, like, and, and, and I explained this to him. And when I went down here to Relativity Records, mm -hmm. that's not what I said to them. Bro, I had a I had a black attorney at the time named Donald Walton. He knew the inside stuff and why I was fed up and you know what I'm saying? But like I said, I had a meeting with everybody and everybody agreed and said, okay, let's, okay, we get rid of everybody. I went out of town, came back. The office, it, it's, 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 it's a party in the office. Doesn't get done. So I'm like, you know what, bro? I gotta, I'm gonna step aside from this. Mm. So when I went to New York and went to Relativity Records, <clears throat> my, my, my attorney, who was a black man, he came to me and he said, this was his exact words. He said, man, look, I know you and your brothers going through what you're going through. But don't go up in here and tell up and tell these people your personal business like that. Keep that amongst yourselves. I said I had no intentions on telling them nothing about that anyway. But see what happened was I had a dude that was with us from the hood. Yeah. He said some shit in a meeting to where one of my niggas rest in pieces of goon. The nigga came on me. I'm in I'm in the hood over my nigga Boogie Nike House from the Poetic Hustlers. Mm -hmm. And my nigga Velo come down the street like, where the fuck Lazy Ball on that? He smoked Sherm. Mm -hmm. So everybody like, oh, this nigga tripping. Mm -hmm. You know, me, I get out there in the street with him like, nigga, what's wrong with you? He like, I'm telling you, I ain't fucking with y'all no more, nigga, because Cray said, Mo Thug was dead and should be buried, and if he had crossed you, he had crossed me, and I ain't fucking with y'all no more. Mm. Walked away, and my nigga didn't even fuck with me no more. Mm. So I knew I, I really felt like he wasn't lying. He 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 was in our circle, so he heard me complaining about man, yo, this nigga need to you know like step it up and da 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 da. So he goes back and tell Lay that I went up in the office and told these people mm. that this dude didn't even go in the meeting with me. Mm. This dude is a dude a, a dude from the hood. Rest in peace, he wanted my dudes from the hood, but I did not take this dude in a business meeting with me and my attorney mm -hmm. to talk business. So he went back and told Lay this and Lay believed it. Mm -hmm. But I never told these people this. I told them, I said, we not seeing eye to eye creatively. And I just want to step aside and focus on my album, Thug Mentality, because I plan on doing a double CD. They was like, oh, Wow, okay. And I said, so I just want to focus on that and I long and I no longer want to be a part of Mo Thug. And they said, okay, cool. But if you're not going to be a part of it anymore, 
we're gonna drop the label. And I was like, oh, damn. <laughs> I was like, seriously? They was like, yeah. Like, they was like, if you're not gonna be a part, we don't wanna be a part of it anymore. You know what I'm saying? We understand and we want you to focus on your solo op. And I was like, okay, cool. Damn. And that's, bro, and that's what it was. Wow. No so, lie. <clears throat> so you and Lay never had this exchange or conversation? Yes, we have. Oh. He may not remember, but oh, yes. Okay. Yes, we, we've, okay. we've had it like several times, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying, in different atmospheres. Mm -hmm. Different tone of voices. Yeah. <laughs> okay. You know what I'm saying? Like cold for getting yeah. into it and yeah. 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 yeah, definitely. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Okay. Okay. So is that where Mo Thug kind of disbanded? As as I guess as we knew it. Because I knew it was a mothership and yeah. different albums after that. But I don't know if they were they independent or were they still through relativity? Yeah, yeah. They uh, they were still through uh well no, no, um no, because um after um but the city had dropped it, and I, I don't know where, where where the next deal okay had came from. They they definitely got another distribution deal, but I don't know. But you had stepped away, yeah, after yeah, the second yeah. Family Scriptures. Yeah, I I, I stepped away and started Thug Line. Thug Line, yeah. okay. Which you then, which you then took Thug Line to Relativity as well, or was it loud? Um, yeah, it, yeah. At that time, Relativity had was was shut down and um Okay. And with Talao. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. With Steve Rifkin, yep. correct? Yes. And yes, that's indeed. where you took Thug Mentality as well. Yeah. Okay. No, 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 no. Thug Mentality was with um Relativity. Okay. Thug on the line was with Loud. I'm home caught, standing trial. Why ain't I see you round back when I was down? Karma's on the way. What goes around comes around. Karma's on the way. There's nothing you could do now. You gotta pay.